When you think of culture, what comes to mind? One definition of culture is the sum total ways of living built up by a group of human beings and transmitted or passed down from one generation to another as the path to survival or success. This is a definition by Barry Ashry, a pioneer in the field of human systems thinking. So in any culture we're a part of, whether it's our family or community or organization where we work, at one point, someone, a human or group of humans, created the rules of how we live in that culture. And then we, who came years later, continued doing those things to help us succeed, not fail, or stay safe and survive. One way to look at culture is by looking at what is called a cultural iceberg. In a real iceberg, there is the ice we can see above the waterline, but there is also a mound of ice underneath the waterline that we cannot see. The same is true with culture. We may easily see the way someone dresses, talks, their skin color or physical abilities. But what we can't see about their culture is what is underneath the waterline, like their habits and traditions, thought processes, perceptions and beliefs, values and more. Those items underneath the waterline are typically learned ideas of what is acceptable or unacceptable. They are things that a person is doing to succeed or survive and they may be invisible to you. A clash occurs when we think that everyone has the same values, habits, assumptions, and thought processes we do. When people from two different cultures come into contact with each other, it might happen that their behaviors conflict with each other's values, the hidden part of the iceberg. If we don't know where a behavior comes from, we may not be able to understand the reason for it. And we might actually take that behavior as a personal affront, if it clashes with our own values. However, if we find out more about the other culture, we might be able to see the values their behavior stems from and be more empathetic or at least make an informed decision on how to deal with it. Just being aware that what you believe and what someone else believes are different because of difference in culture can help you to have a conversation to understand and utilize those differences. If we want to know the reasons behind certain behaviors and really understand a culture, to improve communication, we need to explore beneath the surface and consider things such as beliefs, thought processes, and ultimately the core values of a culture. Also, it's important to remember that not all differences are negative. In most cases, our differences can have a positive impact. What can you bring to a challenge because you think in a different way than someone else. What possibilities could arise? Asking someone why they are thinking or acting the way they do could lead to a rich conversation and understanding of the best way to work with one another. Explain to someone what's under your waterline and ask them to do the same.